Hello me guys, come back to my name is Dan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Chivas versus Atletico San Luis at the Akron Stadium and yeah, it did not go according to plan. Um, obviously everyone knows that if we'd won this game, the last game of the regular season, we'd get automatic promotion to the Guia. We wouldn't have to deal with any of the BS of playoff games. Uh, but it wasn't meant to be. Um, just just a terrible game, to be honest with you. It was a boring game. It looked like it was going to be a nil-nil draw. Even then, I'm thinking, is it a draw enough? I don't think a draw is enough. Um, and then they go and get a late goal, and then it was, we lose 1-0, and it was absolutely disgusting. The team was booed off at the end of the game, which for me was rightly so. Uh, the fans have a right to voice their opinion, and losing to San Luis in a game that we had to win at home is just not acceptable, uh, even for Chivas. People can laugh at Chivas all they like. Um, we have become a bit of a meme lately, a bit, a bit of embarrassment, a bit of a joke. Um, to other teams, uh, even America fans, which is funny because they've been absolutely atrocious this season. And yeah, it's just embarrassing and it was time the players really felt how the fans feel. Uh, and they were rightly booed off in my opinion, uh, played terribly. Um, the whole team was just average. Um, obviously, Ray Hell can only do so much. Um, he couldn't do anything about the goal. Um, yeah, I think Van Gaal's been our player of the season so far. I think he's still up there with almost, I think, well, he didn't get a clean sheet in this game, so I don't think he's got the golden glove. But still, he's got a phenomenal amount of clean sheets this season. He did his job. I think defence kind of, for the most part, held out, even though we've been conceding sloppy goals left, right and centre. Yeah, so 1-0 loss to Atletico San Luis is embarrassing enough, but now we have to go into some kind of play-in playoff round um because we finished ninth and 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 that's you know, the class code type of tier rivals finished 10th we play them in a one-off playoff playing game at the Akron. apparently the date is still to be confirmed but we play them and um yeah obviously america and Cholos finished just above us as well so they play each other and apparently because i've had to look it up because you know look I've been a fan of this league for 10 years. I've been a fan of Chivas for nearly nine years now. And it, and the whole playoff thing um, still gets complicated. It still throws me a little bit every once in a while. If you can get it directly gear, it's great. You can avoid all this kind of, like, maths. But, um, yeah, so what I've read, um, Cholos and America play each other. Um, Chivas and Atlas play each other. The winner uh, of the Tabatio game plays the loser of the Cholos versus America game. Uh, I'm assuming that the loser of the Tapatio game plays the winner of the America Cholos game. I'm not quite sure how it goes from there, so let me know in the comments. Um, I don't know whether there's a game between you know the winner and the winner or, or whatever, or there's a points tally. I, to be honest, I have no idea, so let me know in the comments. All I know is that we have to beat the Adidas at home. Um, and yeah, like if, if San Luis was an embarrassing loss at home, then this would be an embarrassing loss. Um, Atlas have been a, a pretty average this season, um, like us a little bit. I mean, we've had an average um, end towards the end of the season, but I think we are still better than Atlas. We should be winning this game at home. If it was away, then maybe it'd be a bit more difficult, um, but it's at home. And that's the crucial point for me. I think, you know, we should... We should be beating them at home. But yeah, going into this game, uh, obviously, I mean, I don't want to talk about the game too much because it was just boring. Nothing really happened apart from the goal. Um, and it was a good goal from them, I guess. It, was a, it shouldn't have happened, in my opinion, but it was a good goal. He took it well, I guess. Um, it was just the whole team was flat and there was no urgency. There was no, oh, crap, guys, we actually do actually need to win this game. Um, Chicharito, I think, had a perfectly good goal on board offside. Um, that would have been really good because obviously he needs a goal. And obviously he's been gone for like the last two months. It would have been good for him to come off the bench and nab a winner. And it would have been a winner at that point. Uh, I, just, I think it was incorrectly ruled out. But it is what it is. I'm going to think that, you know, I'm a Chivas fan. But um, I think it was. I think it was a legit goal. And um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, but it still doesn't excuse the fact that we we let this stupid go in and now we put ourselves in the position we have to play playing um and uh, you know at this type of tier, you know type of tier adds to the spice of this anyway um you kind of i think i think in a weird way i think the players are going to be way more up for the type of tier game than they were for the san luis game i think they realize now especially with the booing and the crap that they've probably taken offline 
uh, or like should I say that they think well we have to win this game now they have to be on it and you know we seem to be getting players back from injury now there's no real excuse now um Hormiga for me starts a striker though. Uh, I don't know whether the Mario will be back in time for that. I think Piojo might be back. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it'd be cool if he is because I think we need Piojo and uh, Kekau. We haven't seen enough of them two together. It always seems to be one or the other, which is weird and annoying, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, it is. I mean, look, when the game happened, I was like, you know what? I'm glad I'm not recording today because I'll be ranting and raving, and I was so pissed off. Uh, it's such an embarrassment. I'm, you know. Gets to a point now where it's like Jewish do like to embarrass their fans quite regularly. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, it is what it is. We're in this position now. I, I don't really know when the game's going to be. I'm assuming it's going to be in, what, middle to late this week. Um, I assume as well that it's only one round. I don't think it's two rounds, uh, which means that I think, you know, we play this round and then we play. If we win the game, then we play. Whoever loses the the America Cholos game, and that's that's a really wide open game. Cholos have been really good this season. The America have been absolutely trash. Um, you know they lost four nil their last game of the season. Uh, that's almost unheard of. Um, very enjoyable. Um, you know they just got done laughing at us for losing to San Luis, and they got spanked, which is quite funny. Uh, it meant that you know we copped it a little bit, and you know we were able to avoid some kind of banter because they can batter us after losing 4-0 um so yeah it's gonna be an interesting couple of weeks or a week or so um i should try and get a video out for it if it's before you know thursday friday if it's before the weekend then i can get a video out if it's after if it's on the weekend then it'll have to be after um but yeah let me know what you thought of the game let me know what you think about the season I mean, it's been a, it's in fairness to the team it's been a very tumultuous season turbulent season Dago left in, in the middle of the season which was absolutely trash from him um and Mary had to scramble around a little bit we've got an interim coach you know Ortega's not our main coach and you might not you still might not be um especially if he didn't get us because the gear if he had got us the gear then maybe he would have been appointed but because he didn't, I think that job is still up in the air. Um, it's been very tumultuous. The f injuries, we had, you know, Chiquete, we lost him when he was absolutely flying and he's being linked to Europe. Um, tiba has been in, in and out. Um, obviously, Hormiga had his injury the last few weeks. We, we could have done with him. I think we would have won the Puebla game and and, and with with him in the squad. So, um, you know, Chicharito has been out. Obviously, he's obviously out in the... Um, and K. Cow's been out, you know, he had his injury when he was flying. If we'd had all our good players playing the whole entire season, I think our season would be a little bit better. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. It's all about getting the gear. We have to win this game against Atlas and then we'll take it from there. Um, let me know what you think of the game. Let me know what you think about the tournament in general. I think it's been a poor tournament. Probably the worst tournament, I would say, in the last year and a half. Um, the last two or three tournaments. Um, but again, there's been extenuating circumstances. Nobody thought Gago would leave in the middle of the season. Um, and, you know, Hierro left, and that's always going to be a disadvantage for us. In my opinion, I think we were better with Hierro in the, in the club. Um, but again, we've got good players, and players that should be stepping up, and, and are good enough. We should be beating San Luis quite comfortably, and in fact, at home, and we didn't. And that's on the team. That's not on Gargo, that's not on anyone else, it's not on the Maori, it's on the team. You know, you know, K Cow's good enough to score a goal against San Luis, same with Hormiga. Um, and um, you know, Pocho as well, um, he's coming to criticism. So I'm not excusing the team, but it has been a very, very tumultuous tournament. More than usual, in my opinion. Um, and we haven't capitalised on Tigres being poor, they've just kind of found form now. But Tigres have been poor. America have been absolutely trash. I mean, we should have capitalised that. We should have beaten them. Um, you know, we have been better than them. You know, the table does speak differently, but I think we we have been bit, we have been better than America. We should have capitalised that. We should be, I think, three or four spots higher up in the table. But we just haven't capitalised, and we've we've messed up, in my opinion. Uh, and this. Tabatio game is the opportunity to kind of rectify that a little bit and you know like I said if we can get to Ligia then anything is possible um, so yeah let me know what you think what's going to happen with the Tabatio game do you think we can win it 
It's at home as well, which gives me confidence, but sadly Misa is at home, so what do I know? Um, oh yeah, and let me know in the comments. We'll have to talk about it in the comments, so we do like talking to you guys. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll try not to make this too much of a warranty video. It could have been. I could have really gone in on the team hard. But at the, same, at the end of the day, the season's not quite over yet. We still have a chance. And while we still have a chance, I'm not going to criticise too much. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you haven't done already. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate every single subscriber. I really do. It's, it's absolutely amazing. We've got 500. You know, that's absolutely mind-blowing. Um, so let's go for more. See how high we can go. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, look forward to your comments down below. And have a good week. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Adios.